Hello there, Scorpio and Scorpio rising. This is going to be your February 2016 love forecast reading for the month of February. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and cut these cards. I'm going to put them into quarters. We two cards here for the first quarter, two cards here for the second quarter, two cards here for the third quarter, and two cards here for the fourth quarter. And we're going to see exactly what's going to go on in terms of your month and in terms of moving forward for you. So let's go ahead and see what is going to go on for you. Let's go ahead and see what's, what's happening. Yeah. Wow, and it actually seems like this is the cards that want to come out because they came out first face up. Do you see that? My goodness gracious. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, and it seems like they're mostly all already face up. So that's pretty... That's pretty intense as well. A lot of this, a lot of these things have been happening recently and it's, it's kind of crazy, but anyways, yeah, <laughs> here we go. Anyways, first card here is the star. So honest to goodness, we're talking a little bit about your wishes now and honest to goodness, your wishes are going to be able to start coming true in a bigger way than you may actually imagine. Realize that in terms of this absolutely wonderful energy of this star, this is going to be a situation where you're really going to be able to start moving forward, but in an absolutely wonderful way. In a way that's really going to allow you to start realizing that your wish is right out there in front of you. You're going to see that your wishes are, your wishes are coming true, and honestly, you're going to be able to start experiencing the happiness and joy that's going to be able to come out, out of you every single step of the way. Because especially this wonderful star energy here, this is a time for you to really start enjoying yourself, and enjoying yourself in an absolutely wonderful way, in a more relaxation way. Because especially with this Empress card here in reverse, we're talking a little bit about how your wish is going to be able to allow you to start realizing that unexpected growth is coming out everywhere for you. This is going to be a time where unexpected growth is coming out everywhere because your wish is coming true. And honest to goodness, this is something that may be a little wish, it could be a big wish, but it most definitely is a wish. And it is coming to fruition this month. This is really, really important for you. This is a time where you're going to be able to start really realizing that you can really focus on your goals and focus on them in an absolutely wonderful way. Focus on them in a way that's really going to be able to get you the furthest, make you feel the happiest, at the same time be able to get you going, get you flowing, and make you feel absolutely wonderful at the same time. Whereas, especially with the star energy here, you can really just relax to the knowing these situations are really coming out for you in an absolutely wonderful way. And these situations are really going to be able to get you going and get you flowing in an absolutely um, wonderful point as well. Because especially this wonderful star energy, you can really go forward and, and, and do the things that you want to do while at the same time being able to experience the happiness and joy that we've all come to know and love. Because especially this Empress card here, this is going to be a situation where just go for it and realize that all this wonderful positive growth is coming at you quicker than quicker than you could possibly imagine. And new beginnings and just new wonderful situations. And it's all happening in terms of the first quarter. First quarter so, so go forward with it and just enjoy it. Next card here is Judgment, talking a lot about how now it's time to finally start feeling this revival energy. This is going to be a situation where you're going to start feeling revived. And all of this, this blood energy is going to be completely, totally transmuted into something that's going to be wonderful, something very powerful. Something that's really going to be able to get you going and making make you, make you feel like, like you have just completely and totally been uplifted. Realize, especially with this uplifting energy, you can really start going forward and start really feeling that wonderful energy of doing what you want to do, while at the same time being able to experience the happiness that everyone that every one of us has come to know and love at the same time. Honest to goodness, in terms of the Hermit card here, we're talking about finally being able to realize that, you know, you, you're not really going to have to be alone in this. This is going to be a time where you can really start sort of kind of relying on relying on others just a tad little bit to really, to really, really sort of kind of get this revival process going and flowing in the way that's going to be able to be, the, be, able to be the most beneficial to you. Realize that realize that you do not have to be alone in this procedure. You do not have to be alone in these, these wonderful this wonderful revival. And honest to goodness, you're really able to start seeing that in terms of the Hermit card inverse here, this is going to be a time for you to start really realizing that you can do whatever you would like with those around you and really have all these situations come at you in total and complete fruition in an absolutely wonderful way at the same time. Next card here is the Page of Swords, talking a little bit about something where, hey, now you're going to be able to start feeling this wonderful energy of doing what you want to do, but at the same time being able to see that you can really start listening to the messages that are coming to you in a big way. This is a time for you to really start listening to messages and start really listening to the feelings and the thoughts that are coming into your mind about particular situations. This is very, very important because if you use these these, these messages and these understandings correctly, you're going to see that they're really going to be able to get you over any type of issues that may actually come up and over them in a big, big way. This is going to be able to be, be, able to be a time where you can start really going through issues, going through problems, then realize that in terms of the other side, you can really just relax into this energy and just go for it and go for it in a huge way. This will make you feel absolutely fantastic and especially with this tower card, this is a time for you to get over issues, over problems, while at the same time making you feel wonderful and happy about everything to be able to show, it, show itself to you in a big, 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 big way. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. It you feel, feel fantastic. Yes, I mean, big, big. Anyways, yeah, it's making you feel absolutely wonderful. And at the same time, just go forward with it and really just realize just how much these situations are really going to make you feel wonderful whenever you start realizing uh, how to be able to use these, how to be able to use these messages and things that are coming into your head because it's very, very important for you. 
Next card here is the Ace of Wands. So I went, now it's time for a new beginning and a new, new explosive beginning for you. That's really going to be able to make you, to, make, to show you why everything else in terms of this month really happened. This is a time for something very explosive. And whenever I say explosive, I mean explosive in every way possible. Realize, realize, especially with these situations and this energy coming up for you, you can really realize that in terms of this, in terms of this wonderful energy, that you can really just relax into it and have so much, so much, so much, so much fun. Whenever you start realizing just how much this, this, this is going to be a big explosion for you. This is going to be huge energy. And honestly, in, in, in terms, in terms of this quarter of the month here, realize that the revival that happened in terms of the second quarter of the month is really going to make you feel absolutely wonderful whenever you start seeing how things are starting to move up for you. And it's going to be huge, 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 wonderful energy at the same time. And the next card here, we have the Seven of Swords, which is now it's time for you to really be able to go back and get something that you have been wanting for quite some time. Something that you have that you felt like you, you've left behind, but now it's, now it's right there in front of your face. And now you can really pursue it with the happiness and with the joy of everything else that's happened this month getting you there. It's going to be an absolutely wonderful energy of just being able to do what you want to do, experience the things that you want to experience, and at the same time, go forward in the way that you would like to go forward in a huge, huge way. Because honest to goodness, that's absolutely wonderful energy in terms of the fourth quarter month. It's going to be absolutely fantastic for you, especially in the third quarter month too. So honest to goodness, yeah, 